Okay, in the last video on applications of linear systems, we looked at a general method for balancing chemical equations using linear algebra. And now we're going to consider the same system from the last video, and we're going to use MATLAB to reduce the augmented matrix. So, in other words, we're going to start with a matrix, and we're going to find a row equivalent matrix by row reducing to reduced echelon form, and we're going to use a function from MATLAB in order to do the row reduction automatically. So again, to recap of the last video, we have the combustion of propane. So C3H8, and the C is for carbon, and that we have three carbon atoms in the molecule, and H is for hydrogen, and we have eight hydrogens in the molecule. And that is going to be combusting in air, and we have O2 for molecular oxygen. So the O is for oxygen, and the two means that there are two oxygen atoms in the molecule. And then likewise, that goes for CO2 and H2O, which are the products of the reaction. All right, so in front of each molecule, we have a value. So we have X1, X2, X3, and X4. And these are going to be the variables which represent the whole number coefficients in the chemical equation. So this is what we're going to be solving for. And for the chemical species, we have four chemical species, and we have four vectors that go along with that and three entries for each vector to account for the three different atoms. And the three different atoms are going to make up each molecule. So not every one of these molecules has each of the three atoms, but all of them together have three atoms. And we have column vectors A1 through A4, and this is going to represent each one of the molecules. So we have C3H8, O2, CO2, and H2O. Combining these two types of information, so we have the coefficients represented by the variables x1 through x4, and then we have the matrices for the molecules a1 through a4, we get the equation x1 a1 plus x2 a2 equals x3 a3 plus x4 a4. And then we can rewrite that as x1 a1 plus x2 a2 minus x3 a3 minus x4 a4 is equal to zero. Okay, so my previous videos describe this procedure, particularly the videos on echelon form and row reduction, and especially the video before this that is about this example. So right now we're going to be using MATLAB, so we're going to be using the computer to row reduce the augmented matrix to reduced echelon form. And we have the matrix to start out with 3, 0, negative 1, 0, 0, row 2, 8, 0, 0, negative 2, 0, row 3, 0, 2, negative 2, negative 1, 0. And we're going to use the RREF function that's built in in MATLAB to get the matrix that's in equation 5. Just like I said in the last video, after you do the row reduction and you get the general solution, you should have x1 equals 1 over 4, x4, x2 equals 5 over 4, x4, x3 equals 3 over 4, x4, and x4 is free. And if x4 equals 4, the chemical equation is 1 C3H8 plus 5O2 to 3CO2 plus 4H2O. Okay, now we're looking at the command window in MATLAB, which is a matrix algebra software. And you can, you can do a lot of different manipulations, not just row reduction in terms of linear algebra with this software, which is really useful. So we're going to put in the matrix equation. We're going to put in A is equal to, and then we're going to have 3, 0, negative 1, 0, 0. And then we're going to have the semicolon to tell the program to have the next row started. And then we're going to put in the next row, which is 8, 0, 0, negative 2, 0, and then another semicolon, and 0, 2, negative 2, negative 1, 0. And then we're going to close that with brackets. And then we're going to get the reduced echelon form matrix after we put in uh, the matrix A, or the variable A in this case, into the RREF function. And it's going to give us our row reduced matrix. And again, the row reduced matrix that we've just uh, gotten with MATLAB is going to correspond to equation 5. So there you have it. That's the general solution or well it is it gives you the general solution but that is a general method for using MATLAB to help you row reduce a matrix and balance a chemical equation.